Hi guys, good afternoon, welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I will be talking about my thoughts and reaction to the big announcement that came yesterday afternoon that the Venom spin-off movie is back in action over at Sony Pictures. So, uh, we knew a few years ago, um, because of the, uh, by the polarized hit, Amazing Spider-Man 2, and when I say polarized, people either loved it or hated it. Uh, it definitely, there definitely was, uh, unfortunately, it seemed like there was more of a negative response to it because obviously the new Sony Marvel deal was struck where Mar Sony returned Spider-Man to Marvel, and now Tom Holland will be playing said character in the upcoming film Captain America Civil War. Now, because of this new deal, we all assumed, oh, that means the rest of the Spider-Man characters and from his universe will make their way over to Marvel as well, right? Maybe, maybe not. It's up in the air. But one character who definitely won't be sharing the screen with Tom Holland's Spider-Man, unfortunately, will be Venom. This plan was uh, put in place a couple of years ago when Sony was planning their own Spider-Man universe. They were going to have the amazing Spider-Man 3, a Sinister Six movie, and a Venom spin-off movie. And now it seems like the Venom spin-off movie is back in action over at Sony Pictures. As it, was, as it was announced yesterday, that it was being written by Edge of Tomorrow's writer, Dante Harper, has been hired to write the script for Sony, and that this uh, version of Venom, unfortunately, will not be sharing any screen time with any other MCU character, especially his nemesis, Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So what does this mean for the movie? Does this mean that this Venom is going to take place in a universe that is not the Sony, that is not Sony, that is not the Marvel universe? Because with Christopher Nolan's Batman, it didn't, you know, those movies did not take place in the DC universe. Where with Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, those are DC universe films along with Suicide Squad and everything else that's coming up. So what I'm wondering is if they're going to use a similar approach like Christopher Nolan did with his Dark Knight trilogy, a Venom movie based in uh, a, its own fictional universe that's not doesn't share anything with any other comic book universe. Like, is it its own standalone thing? Because that's what they're making it sound like. It won't be connected to the new Sony Marvel deal they have with Spider-Man. It won't be connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It'll be its own thing. So it's got me wondering, and it makes me very, very curious and intrigued, what will the premise of the movie be? Because Venom's a... Uh, you know, a bad guy. He's he's a menace to Spider-Man. I don't know too much about him from what I do know about him. He's like one of the best, nastiest villains that Spider-Man has ever faced, you know, next to the Green Goblin, of course. I think Venom, I, I might be, I might uh, be stepping a line here, but I think Venom is probably right up there with Green Goblin, if not a few uh, ranks below Green Goblin in terms of uh, Spider-Man villains. So this movie will be about Venom, which makes me wonder, is this going to be a story of evil versus evil? Will it be a story where there's another supervillain who will not be in the MCU, uh, who will exist in Venom's universe and uh, no other comic book movie universe? Will this be an evil versus evil story? Will it be about the authorities, the police, or some government agency hunting down and trying to capture Venom for their own nefarious reasons? Will there be like will Venom be the lesser evil of two evils in his own movie? Will it all will it be all about him terrorizing New York City? Will it start off as Eddie Brock being this mild mannered yet kind of angry guy who's uh, exposed to the symbiote from space if they go that route I don't know which origin story they'll use or if they'll even use Eddie Brock uh, as the alter ego I have no idea like I said I know very little about Venom and if he is going to be if this movie is going to be taking place on his own without Spider-Man to face as an enemy who is going to be his enemy the cops the authorities or will he just be terrorizing the people of New York City I mean like who who could he possibly be facing down or is it just about him and his struggles like is it about him trying to find his place in the world and he ends up embracing a path of darkness and uh, cruelty instead of a path of uh, light and hopefulness I mean I I'm just th throwing out speculation and ideas guys I have no idea what this movie is going to 
be about regarding Venom. All I know about it is that it is currently being written by Dante Harper, who wrote Edge of Tomorrow and Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, and it's being done at Sony Pictures, and it is not connected to Tom Holland's Spider-Man or the Sony Marvel deal that they have in place. So I'm very intrigued though. I mean, I'm I'm actually pretty excited about this. You know, I liked this idea when they first announced it a few years ago, and uh, now that it's uh, happening again, okay, cool. I mean, I hope they do the character justice for the fans' sake. Uh, I don't know too much about it, so I'm sure I will like what I see when the time comes for a trailer or something, or when the movie comes out. But I hope they get it right for the fans' sake, because I know what many, many people were disappointed how he was interpreted in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 with Topher Grace. With no disrespect to Topher Grace or Sam Raimi, but apparently they didn't quite nail the interpretation of the character. But that's what other fans say, not my personal opinion. I was fine with it. But then again, I'm not a comic book fanatic, so I wouldn't know if you were doing a character right or wrong. Or some characters, at least. Not all. But uh, the Venom movie is happening. No directors or uh, stars or uh, producers yet. Well, actually, there are a few producers. Avi Avrad and Tom Malak, I think their names are. They are the two producers connected to this movie, along with the screenwriter, Dante Harper. So that is the update as of now. Uh, please subscribe to this channel for to stay on top uh, for more updates uh, regarding on any and all news regarding to uh, the development of the Venom spin-off movie and other upcoming movies and TV shows. Thank you so much for watching and stopping by here on The Edward. I hope you have a great rest of the afternoon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Please feel free to sound off down below in the comments section. Do you Are you guys looking forward to seeing the Venom movie? Uh, are you hopeful about it? Are you worried? Or are you totally against this? Uh, please say why. Sound off down below. Let's be respectful and civil. One of another's beliefs and opinions of course as usual thanks again for stopping by and stay tuned for one of my uh, new videos coming up where i'll be telling you guys how to get excited and ready for 10 cloverfield lane which comes out in theaters next friday all right guys have a great rest of the weekend thanks again for stopping by and of course as always may the force be with you